Hello everybody and welcome to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Lady Mustangs will be taking on the Minnesota State University Ma Mavericks. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Callahan alongside my partner Dylan Kerfman and uh, Dylan, we got ourselves a uh, Last regular season game here coming up, and uh, Dylan, what are your three keys to the game? Absolutely, Matt. Three, uh, three key, uh, three keys. There we go. Get my uh, mic adjusted. But anyway, so the three keys are this. I'm kind of going to the basic fundamentals here tonight, Matt. Mustangs need to a limit their turnovers. They are uh, 18 is their average turnovers. Their opponents getting 14, so that's not a good uh, margin to be in. Also, got to make their free throws. Free throw percentage not too good. Only 67 percent. That's something they got to get up there because free throw, those are your free points, and you got to take advantage of those and uh, finally they got to improve their three-point percentage as well make the shots where they have a good look and they can't force it otherwise they're going to get beat most definitely Dylan and we'll have to look out for those keys tonight and looking at some of the last time the SMSU Mustangs took on Minnesota State Minnesota State forced Southwest Minnesota State to commit 21 turnovers as the Mavericks defeated the Mustangs 76-62 in the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference Women's Basketball. SMSU finished shooting 43% from the floor as Lauren Hedlund led the Mustangs with 16 points while shooting 77%. Emily Dusky controlled the boards as she grabbed a team high seven rebounds. So about Minnesota State, the Mavericks picked to finish third in the NSIC South and fourth overall will enter the weekend in 18 and excuse me an 18 and 8 record after losing to Sioux Falls last night including a 15 and 6 in the NSIC. The Mavericks recorded two wins at home last weekend as they defeated Winona State in overtime and dominated Upper Iowa. Minnesota State will be playing Sioux Falls Friday night before playing SMSU on Saturday. As, we, as like we said, Sioux Falls defeated Minnesota State. Aubrey Davis leads the Mavericks in scoring with 13 points per game and scored 20 points for SMSU earlier this season while shooting 44% and th from, from three-point range and also dishes out a team high force four assists per game. As we're getting ready here for tip-off, we're going to take a quick break here but when we come back we'll have the starting lineups for tonight's game and you're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Southwest Minnesota State will get you where you want to go. We're a university of 3,600 students with over 45 majors to choose from. Small student to faculty ratios let your professors get to know you. And with a grad placement rate over 95%, your degree will help you get a job in your chosen field. Becoming involved is easy. And with over $150 million in improvements the last 10 years, our facilities are state of the art. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. Southwest Minnesota State University, where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like colonology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide, where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. AmeriCorn Bureau. I want to help people. I want to make a difference. I want to get things done. Could I be a hero? She had to apply. I should give this a try. There she met people who shared her passion, people who wanted to make change, people who joined AmeriCorps. They cleaned beaches, they helped wildlife. Together they served, together they made a difference. Together they were heroes. In AmeriCorps, you can be a hero too. Join AmeriCorps. Ladies, are you talking to your partners? About HIV. 
Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed, get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. Are moments when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers, but when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. Can you tell me what I'm doing? Is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't know. That's why thousands across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight that only families can provide. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. Welcome back to the RA facility. And here are the starting lineups for tonight's basketball game. The Minnesota State Mavericks. Number three, Aubrey Davis, guard 5'7", senior from Bloomington, Minnesota. And number 10, Sammy Delzato, guard 5'10", sophomore from Egan, Minnesota. And number 14, Ashley Olson, guard 5'6", senior from Blue Earth, Minnesota. And number 32, 32 Lexi Olfers, forward 6'2", senior from Waseca, Minnesota. And number 33, Jamie Breshnahan, forward 6'1", senior from Edina, Minnesota. Mavericks are coached by Emily T.C. in her third season. And assistant coaches are Amy Sander and Brent Polari. And let's send it over to Dylan Kerfman with the SMSU Mustangs starting lineups. All right, thanks a bunch there, Matt. Here are your starting lineups for the Lady Mustangs. Wearing number 23 this evening, Paige Hendrickson. She's a guard freshman from Robbins, Iowa. At number 24, it's Ellen Degler, a forward senior from Chanhassen, Minnesota. At number 30, it's Hope Molander, a forward and guard. She's a junior from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. At number 34, it's Anessa Rush. She's a guard, a junior from St. Cloud, Minnesota. And at number 40, Emily Dusky, a center junior out of Delano, Minnesota. Head coach in her fifth season, Allison Kruger, assisted by Abby Oakland, Kristen Lee, and Andy Oakland. And tonight's officials, Mike Bukowski, Craig Norland, and Chad as we're getting set for tip-off here, we'll look at some of the standings here for the SMSU Lady Mustangs are at the bottom of the NSIC South. And looking at, as well, you look at Minnesota State in the same division, and they are still second in the NSIC South. With a record of 15-6 and 18-8 and and overall, and the Lady Mustangs... 13, no, 3 and 18 and 3 and 22. So Lady Mustangs have a tough... Got their work cut out for them, man. Yes, you know? sir. Got the, has their work cut out for them. It's going to be a tough matchup, but the Lady Mustangs are wearing all gray with uh, the brown trim and uh, brown lettering and uh, numbers as well. And then you look at the Mavericks, they're wearing blue and gold with a little bit of... And they got their white jerseys as well. Dusky will take the tip off. Tip goes to the Mavericks. Good ball movement from the Mavericks. Davis over to Olsen. Try to hit it down low, nice. Almost stolen by Ellen Degler, nice defense right there. Yep, you know, MS, or MSU was on the attack there and just a great defensive effort like you say there, Matt. Definitely uh, good to see this early in the game. Olsen. Drives, puts up a shot, weaves through defenders, gets a nice shot up in there. Looking at the stats for Ashley Olsen, averaging nine points per game. Hendrickson, down low to Dusky. Dusky almost loses that one, hits it over to Anessa Rush. Struggled a little last night, she puts up a shot, no good. Rebound, Bresnahan. Shot up and good from Lexi Olfers. 
Olfer, or excuse me, Olsen gets it back. Easy shot for Aubrey Davis. Oh, my, I hate to see that, Matt. Just a careless mistake really costing them there. Vanessa Rush. Here comes Hendrickson looking for Degler. Degler over to Bonlander. Bonlander, Hendrickson. Down low to Degler. Degler working down low. Looks like she got charge called on her. Mavericks ball. Lauren Hedlund into the game for Emily Dusky. Aubrey Davis bringing it up for the Mavericks. Averaging 13 points per game. Gets 110 rebounds. Pretty good for a point guard. It's a nice pass by Davis there. And Olfers gets fouled on that one. Mustang ball number 22, Lauren Hedlund. Looks at, looking at Alexi Olfers, Dylan. Mm -hmm. She's got 2.6 offensive rebounds per game, as well as she's set third in the NSIC and blocks as well. Got to like that stat. Hopefully that will continue to show here in tonight's game, Matt, especially with uh, this fast-paced attack we've been seeing from MSU tonight. Olfers. Second free throw is up and good. She's got four points here tonight. MSU having some success here with the full court pressure. Got to gotta see if the Mustangs will make some adjustments here. Headland. Down low. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound. Davis. Davis. A lot of pressure from Rush. Looks to be a turnover right there. A little miscommunication going on. Headland to inbound it. Some pretty good defense from Ashley Olsen. Yeah, she's been very, very close there on Rush. And as we all know, Rush is really good about getting all over the court. Try to hit it down low to Bonlander. Still a scramble for the ball. And Nessa Rush gets it. She puts up a three. No good. Rebound, Delzato. Wide open is Olfers, and she puts it up and in. Lady Mustangs now down 10 to 0. Yeah, scoreless here in the almost three minutes in. I, uh, if they don't get a score here soon, I'm really thinking a timeout might be beneficial for the Mustangs. Nice drive by Bonlander, and that should help out the Lady Mustangs. Oh, Bonlander. Definitely needed that one. Zotto. For three, no good. Rebound Hendrickson. Vanessa Rush bringing it up for the Lady Mustangs. Down to Degler. Hendrickson gets it again. Headland, open at the top. No good. Rebound Delzato. Yeah, so far, uh, Lady Mustangs, their shots just been coming up short or a little off, uh, off target. Olsen for three, and that's good. Three-point basket, Ashley Olsen. Ashley Olsen drains that three. Shooting 39% from three-point range. Yeah, you know, man, I'm no geometry major, but the velocity on that three-pointer, it's pretty nice. That, that was, was pretty a nice. very right. good arc. Nice arc. Here comes Degler over to Bonlander for three. No good. Looks to be off. Bresnahan right there. Checking in for the Mavericks, number one, Brittany Sherbert, 45, Mackenzie Olsen. Bombliner coming out of the game. Tiffany Gale. Tiffany Gale into the game for the Lady Mustangs. Gale looking for someone to pass to. Almost taken away by Olsen. Anessa Rush gets that one. Hedlin over to Hendrickson. Tries to drive against Davis. And it looks like Headline might have been shoved a little bit there. No call. Aubrey Davis bringing it up. Lady Mustangs down 13 to 2. 15-51 left in this first half. Davis for three. No good. Rebound Olsen. Came out of nowhere. 
We'll call a jump ball right there. Lauren Headline had a hand on it. You know, taking a look here, uh, stat-wise, I mean, 74, per, or excuse me, 71%. That's uh, still a good number there for Minnesota State. SMSU only 16%. That uh, is the story of the shooting tonight. One for six. Yikes. Headland driving. It's off a shot. No good. Mackenzie Holman tried to reel in that rebound. And Bresnahan passing it in to Davis. Davis. To Olsen. Down low to Bresnahan. Loses that one. Off on Degler. Emily Dusky into the game for Ellen Degler. Ellen Degler has a little bit of a fan section yeah, here tonight. Her last say. game in, in the regular season here. Nice to see, facility. yeah. Got some signs and everything too, you know. Got to appreciate, you know, when you get a good little cheering section. Mackenzie Holman with the easy two right there. Mavericks lead 15 to two. Vanessa Rush, top of the key, shot up, no good, rebound, Davis. Davis dumps it to Olsen. Olsen's shot is up, no good. Rebound to Nessa Rush. Gives it to Hendrickson. She drives, dumps it over to Gale. Gale's shot is almost blocked. Got fouled on that one. So Gale will go to the line. Maverick ball on number 45, Mackenzie Holman. Her first personal foul. First. And here comes the first media timeout. We're going to take a 60 second break. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. There are moments when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. Can you tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't know. That's why thousands across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight that only families can provide. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. Southwest Minnesota State University, where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like colonology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide, where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Lady Mustangs trail the Minnesota State University Mavericks 15 to two. And uh, Dylan, again, not a very good start for the Lady Mustangs here. No, Matt, yeah, I mean, we know coming into the game in pregame, uh, the matchup was not uh, not favorable for the Mustangs too. The uh, great stats for MSU and uh, so far they're living up to the expectations, but I don't think, uh, I don't think we could have uh, seen such a early jump lead for uh, for MSU. Looking at the free throw percentage here for the Lady Mustangs, they're only shooting 67% in that SIC, and that is 14th. Yeah, you gotta gotta be able to boost that when you, when that's uh, one of your areas you can control is your free throws. You know, drive shot is up and no good from Sherber. Vanessa Rush. Hedlund calling for the ball. She gets it. Drives. Tries to make a move. Gets that stolen away. Olsen tried to dump it off to Davis. Off a rush. Good effort, though, by the Lady Mustangs to break up that fast scoring opportunity. Lady Mustangs only shooting 12% from the field. Sounds like my uh, lottery lottery percentage win there, Matt. Twelve percent. I uh. And, an and one right there from Ashley Olson. Foul on Abby Connell. Coming in for the Mavericks, Claire Jordan, guard, five eleven, freshman from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Olson's first personal Olson's free throw is up and good. The Mavericks extend their lead to 15. 
Mavericks bringing a little bit of a press here. They ward off there. Here comes Rush. She drives, puts up a nice layoff. Vanessa Rush. And again, Dylan, Vanessa Rush needs to get going here in this first half. Absolutely. Like last night. Key player, you know, again, she's all over the place uh, court wise, but now if you can, yep, follow through with getting those baskets, it's going to be crucial for sure. Brittany Sherver with a three pointer. Rush. Drives again, gives it to Connell. Connell for three, and that's good. Abby Connell drains that three. Three pointer, Abby Connell, and that's a Southwest Palace three point field goal. It's a down low to Jordan. Jordan puts it up and in. Jordan. Just as the Lady Mustangs start to get momentum, the Mavericks say, nope. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, they really uh, they really do cancel out there, too, because I was about to say, too, Matt, well, you know, they're making good progress. But, yeah, props to MSU for not, uh, not giving up. Headland. Hits it over to Rush. Rush for three. No good. Rebound Delzato. Delzato. Delzato tries to drive. Foul on Rush right there. Looks like Delzato may have taken an... Extra step. Yeah, I was wondering that too. It looked like she uh, had the extra step, but then I guess that was off the foul though. Delzato shooting 84% from the charity strike. That one doesn't go in for her. Hope Bonlander into the game for Tiffany Gale. Delzato, second free throw is up and good. And that's a rush bringing it up for the Lady Stangs. Bonlander over to Ducky, Dusky. Bonlander, Bonlander drives, makes a move. No good, but she's fouled. Bonlander to the free throw line. Hope Bonlander with only two points here tonight. First one is up and good. Coming into the game, Ellen Degler, Paige Hendrickson. Ellen Degler into the game. Again, her last game here at the RA facility. Bonlander shots up and good. She nails both. Down low to Holman. Holman, her shot is up, no good. Degler rebound. And that's a rush over to Degler. Comes Headland. Shot is up and almost good. She gets fouled. Headling. No points here tonight so far. Trying to get on the board here. Shot is up and good. Checking in for the Mavericks. Checking in for the Mavericks. Lexi Olfers. Headling. Only shooting. 62% from the charity strike. Yeah, I guess you know, got to be happy at least so far. Uh, Mustangs Here comes a steal from Headland. Well, that's Offer the closest. Offer nice for right there. Absolutely. And again, you know, Dylan, the Lady Mustangs only shooting 27%. Yeah, it uh, it is unfortunate. I mean, they brought up the number a tad bit, but you're right. They got to improve that. Great to see 83% uh, free throw percentage. So maybe. Hope for some fouls, but obviously got to work on that field goal percentage as well. Nice defense from Hendrickson. And there will be Lady Mustangs ball Olsen. right here. Her first, personal foul for the team foul. first foul for Olsen. Lady Mustangs down by 12 now. 
trying to fight their way back into this game. Down low to Degler, Degler fouled. Right there by Lexi Ulfers. Her first personal foul, fifth team foul. Checking in for the Mustangs, number 45, Taylor Haliski. Taylor Haliski into the game. Down low to Bonlander. Her shot is up and good. Hope Bonlander. Hope Bonlander. Well, they've got the uh, difference between now to 10 points. So credit to Lady Mustangs. Now they can just uh, play some solid defense here and keep, uh, keep getting those inside the paint shots. They're definitely not out of this one yet. Olfer's That's shot is up and good. Olfer's has 10 points. Excuse me, eight, eight points. Degler. Her shot is up and good. Ellen Degler. Lady Mustang still down by 10. Drive, no good. Shot from Anna Lelox. Oski, shot no good. Taken by Delzato. Delzato. Looking to set it up. Gets it to Olsen, Olsen. Over to Lelox. Shot up, no good from Claire Jordan. Rebound. Olsen. Some acrobatic passes there. Huh? <laughs> Olsen gonna set it back up again. Lady Mustangs down 26-16. Almost stolen by Degler. Nice effort right there. Yeah, Diggler having a great game. Not a lot of points, but I mean, she's all over the court, making good contributions defensively. And got to admire the senior leadership. And another media timeout. We're going to take a 60 second break. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. We all have a vision of that perfect smile. But when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso. So trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. Southwest cans, water bottles, and clothes. These forms of aid cost more to ship than you think. Cash donations provide immediate and effective relief to those who need it without the shipping costs. If we all do our part, together we can provide help across the world. To learn more, check out CIDI.org. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Lady Mustangs trail the Minnesota State University Mavericks 26 to 16. And uh, Dylan, I mean, just to say right now, I mean, the Lady Mustangs are getting killed in points in the paint. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a bloodbath out there, man, if I use the word bloodbath, because uh, yeah, it, uh, Wow, yeah, 14 to 6. That is not a good margin to be in. And clear they're going to want to improve that if they're going to get back in this one. Davis, shot right there, missed, rebounded from Ulfers. Out of bounds on the Lady Mustangs. Davis inbounding. Olsen's shot is up. No good. Rebound Ulfers. Um, almost rebounded. Looks like it's off of Aubrey Davis. Lady Mustangs going to inbound it here. Hendrickson dumps it off to Rush. That's it down to Emily Dusky. Dusky. Over to Gale. Gale. Hendrickson. Down to Dusky. That is taken away by Olsen. Olfers. It's it over to Jordan. Over to Davis. 
shot from Bresnahan, and she drains that one. Nothing but net. Minnesota State shooting 55% from the field, 33% from three-point range. Gale on to Holiski. Dusky, Hendrickson. Hendrickson drives, puts up a shot, no good. Bit of contact there, too. I thought something might have got called, but. Davis saves it, calls a timeout. timeout. So anyway, we're gonna take a 30 second break. You're watching Mustang Bas Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. We all have a vision of that perfect smile, but when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso, so trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. And welcome back to the Lady Mavericks ball here. Davis going to bring it up here. Olsen over to Davis. Down low to Ulfers. Traveled on that one. And only four turnovers tonight for Minnesota State. Here comes Anessa Rush. Trying to set it up here. Here comes Lesky. Tried to work it down low. Dumps it off to Dusky. How much time left? Gale and needs to put up a shot. Up and no oh, good. Oh, man, almost Rebound in. Rebounded Holeski, though. There we go. Ooh. A block called on Davis right there. Foul on Davis coming into the game for the Mavericks, Mackenzie Holman. Should mention, man, two Mavericks up to six fouls now, too. That, uh... Good, uh, good sign for the Lady Mustangs shooting 83% from free throw line. That's a rush with the travel right there. Headland coming in for Holeski. Hope Bonlander in for Tiffany Gale. Pressing the hand into Aubrey Davis. Holman, shot is up and good. Nice move right there from Holman. Rush, Dusky, over to Bonlander. And that's a rush for three, no good. Rebound Davis. Davis almost gets that taken away. Here comes Sherber, Sherber's shot is up and almost in, rebound Dusky. Rush over to Hendrickson. Bonlander. Dusky. The rush, rush, drives. The Bonlander to Hendrickson for three. And that's good. Paige Hendrickson. Really like how they set this up, Matt. Just some clever passing. And you know what? That was my keys to the game, in fact. Get the three point shots when they come, and things are going to be good. Davis. Making some shifty moves. Holman's shot is up and almost good. Almost got the and one. She'll shoot two. Mustang foul on number 30, Hope Bonander. Her first personal foul, fifth team foul. Mackenzie Holman at the line, shooting two. Holman shooting two. Sixty-five percent free throw shooter. Misses that one. Looking at the free throws for Minnesota State. Four of six. Make that five of seven. Rush driving against Olsen. Headland over to Dusky. 
And that is taken away by Sherbert. Nice defense. Sherbert driving. Pumps it off. Holman gets it. Makes a move. Up and good from Holman. Nice pass from Jamie Bresnahan. And Hedlund can't get that one. Gets that back. Headland back, backing down Davis, puts up a shot. Oh, that would have been pretty darn cool. Block if call. That yeah, went in. I mean, agreed. it had a good angle, Matt. You know, really did. At first, it's thought that she put up a prayer, but it didn't really. Thought it was going to go over the backboard or something. I was going to say, yeah, was that, pretty close. Yeah, that backboard angle it was pretty close. Yeah. Here comes Headland to the line. Free throw Second up and good. Ellen Degler into the game again for Dusky. Abby Connell as well. Headland. Shot is up and good. She makes both. Connell. Olsen down to Sherber, almost Boy, taken away really, by Headland. Really disappointed there, man. Had an opportunity, but. And Sherber can't get that one. Almost taken away. A lot of miscommunication from both sides. Absolutely, yeah. No one knows what's going on. It's going to be an offensive foul. Here comes Headline, gonna pass it in. And that's a rush. Emily TC, not very happy with that call. Here comes Rush, Rush loses that one. Foul called on the Mavericks. How to upset Mavericks. Oh, yeah, fans it's here. Ooh. That's a rush oh, going to line, but yeah. both last coaches, meeting. Yeah. Sorry, Dylan. Oh, no, ahead. my bad. Just both coaches really uh, yelling it out right now. Yeah, it's getting intense. And we'll take uh, another media timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Cans, water bottles, and clothes. These forms of aid cost more to ship than you think. Cash donations provide immediate and effective relief to those who need it, without the shipping costs. If we all do our part, together, we can provide help across the world. To learn more, check out CIDI.org. At 32, Carol had her first heart attack. Michelle began kidney dialysis right before graduation. A brain seizure kept Maria out of work for nearly a year. Without warning, lupus can attack their organs. Every day, it disables its victims, especially women. Like most Americans, I didn't know how life-threatening lupus could be until my sister was diagnosed. It's time we do something about it. For more information about lupus, contact the Lupus Foundation of America. Welcome back to the RA facility. Lady Mustangs trail Minnesota State at 33-21. Matt Callahan and Dylan Kerfman here on the call for Tonight's game, and uh, Dylan, like we said, not a good start for the Lady Mustangs, only shooting 33%. A couple of costly turnovers and yeah. getting killed with points in the paint. It's definitely been the story of the game, and it's just been a constant battle of catch-up, and MSU's been able to maintain about a 10-point advantage throughout, uh, throughout these uh, minutes of play. Shot up and good from Rush. Here comes Sherber. Delzato. Ziegler tries to drive. Looks like Degler and Hedlund uh, actually <laughs> were trying to take the ball away right there, but they're on the same team, but we'll keep it right here, another 30-second timeout. So, Dylan, let's look at some of the other stats here individually. Absolutely. So we'll look at the Lady Mustang stats here. Top scorer tonight, Hope Bonlander with six points, two of three from the field. And, you know, I mean, the Lady Mustangs, I mean, can't beat 
only making six shots total in this game. A couple of free throws here as well. So, Dylan, what do they really need to do offensively to get going? You know, I think so. they got to make sure they get uh, the right shots set up. And really, like we've been kind of saying earlier, to Anessa Rush, I mean, she's a solid game in many ways all over the court, making good effort, but her shots have not been able to fall. She's need to, she needs to find a way to get those shots because she could uh, really be the difference right now. Anessa Rush bringing it up for the Lady Stangs. Down by 10 here. Shot up and good from Lauren Headline. Headline needed that one right there. Six points for her tonight. Travel called on Mackenzie Holman. Lady Mustang Mall now. Well, only an eight point difference now. Things, uh, things are getting pretty interesting. Crowd starting to get more involved here. Headline drives, has an open lane. What's up a shot and that's good. Lauren Headland. Eight points for her tonight. Sherber. Drive almost lost right there. Hits it out to Delzato. Madison Lee almost lost it there. Sherber to Lee. Lee drives. Puts up her shot, no good. Rebound to Lauren Headland. Hits it over to Connell. Connell dumps it down to Degler. Degler's shot is blocked. He's trying to get a handle on it. Jump ball called. Jump ball to the Mavericks. Platoon swap here for the Mavericks. Solid effort here by Lady Mustangs. Only down six now. And Shooting 40%. Yeah, they just just what we asked them to do. Yeah, bring up move those numbers. <laughs> And here comes Davis. Davis bringing it up. Pumps it over. Gets it back. Drives. Throws it out. Delzato for three. And rebounded from Ellen Degler. Nice, tenacious rebound from Degler. Bonlander. Hedlin said she was open. Connell for three. No oh good. My. Another jump ball called. It'll be the Lady Mustangs ball. Still. Checking in for the Mustangs, number 23, Paige Hendrickson, and number 40, Emily Dusky. Emily Dusky into the game, as well as Paige Hendrickson. Very nice rebound from Ellen Degler. At least four Mavericks trying to get it from her. Hendrickson looking. Gets it over to Bonlander. Hope. Oh, my. Traveled before she could bounce the ball right there. Mustangs. Definitely uh, getting some momentum here, Dylan. Absolutely, Matt. Uh, the crowd feels it. Uh, the, you'd like to say the tenacity of uh, Degler's rebound and just uh, just the effort. Even with uh, MSU's uh, starters coming back in, too, Mustangs are still holding their own. Foul called on Dusky. Mustang foul on number 40, Emily Dusky. And you know, you got to admire this, too, Matt. I mean, we're here at the end of the season. Obviously not a great uh, season for the Lady Mustangs all in all. You know, only three wins for the whole season. But but here in front of a good home crowd, you know, got to appreciate their never giving up and making a good effort here in their last, I guess, official home game. Other foul called on the Lady Mustangs. Foul on Dusky again. Mustang second foul straight foul. Emily Dusky, her second foul Olsen will go to the line. In for the Mustangs, Seven now for the Mustangs. I just realized here, nine fouls on MSU. They, uh... Well, I guess they picked up a few there too, Matt, but I uh, must have checked out of that <laughs> stat department for a while. Olsen, one and one here. Shot is up and good. Olsen with nine points here tonight. Shot up, no good. Almost rebounded by Haleski. Out on Ulfers. Headland down to Anessa Rush. Rush bringing it up. Rush over to Hendrickson. Hendrick Hendrickson down to Rush. Rush on fakes. Here comes Headland. Makes a nice move. Puts it up. No good. Just to be out on the Lady Mustangs. Maverick ball. 
Inbounding is Bresnahan. Davis. Shot up and good from Olfers. Here comes Anessa Rush. Rush to Hendrickson, back over to Rush. Rush for three. No good, rebound, Haleski. Oh. That's taken away by Delzato. Delzato, excuse me. Got an unlucky rollout and a lucky. Olsen for three, and that's good. That should kill the momentum right there for the Lady Mustangs. Well said, Matt, well said. That uh, a dagger in the heart, for sure. Here comes Vanessa Rush over to Hendrickson. Hendrickson over to Rush, back to Hendrickson. Bondlander. That's oh, no. taken away by Delzato. Sammy Delzato only has one point tonight. And wide open is Alexi Olfers. Coach Kruger has to call timeout, and we're going to take a 30 second break as well. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now, or you can get one later. Use our free risk calculator and talk to your doctor. Lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University. And the Minnesota State Mavericks have the lead over the SMSU Lady Mustang, 41-27. And to sum it all up, the Minnesota State has been shooting well and causing a lot of turnovers. Has 22 points in the paint, 12 bench points, and 14 points off turnovers tonight, Dylan. I was going to say, very efficient use of the turnovers. And because uh, not only to force turnovers, but to be able to score off them as effectively as they've done. Degler. shows. Degler trying to work. Yeah, gets that taken from Davis. Helen Degler's got to try and pass the ball there. Shot up, no good from One Davis. Rebound, Hendrickson. And that's a rush. Dumps it down to Degler. Degler back to rush. Delmo to Haleski. De Degler down back to Haleski. Puts up a shot. No shot, though. Foul. Sammy Delzato, her first foul of the game. Lady Mustangs, 90% net from free throw line. What an impressive stat. And... Uh, Got to say, one of my keys to the game, too. They're uh, following through. Got to like that. Up that percentage right there. 10 of 11 now. Nice, nice. Leske gets her first point of the game. Trying to make it two. Shot up and good. Leske in for Bonlinder. 46 seconds left in this first half. Lady Mustangs. Wanna Fighting here. Yeah, that's true. Want to go into the locker room with some momentum here, too. We'll see who gets the final possession of this half. Davis. Dumps it over to Delzato. Olfers drives, puts up a shot, but she traveled. Looks like it might have been an and one there. Would have been a real, really hurt the Lady Mustangs right there. Absolutely, Matt. Yeah. Coming into Take the game, the Abby, Connell. Three, Abby Connell. Lady Mustangs trying to get a quick score. Get a one last score here on this possession. 20 seconds, no shot clock. The old classic. What are they going to do? Degler. Over to Rush. Back to Degler. Degler drives. Looking for Connell. Gets it to Connell. It's like a Ness Rush accidentally pushed her there. Degler for three, no good. And here comes Delzato, puts up a half court shot, no good. And the Mavericks will take the lead going into halftime, 41-29. But stay tuned, we'll have our halftime report here with two minutes left in halftime. So you're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world 
It is uh, MSU 41 serve people and SMSU 29. What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University here in Marshall, Minnesota, where the SMSU Lady Mustangs trail Minnesota State University 41-29. Matt Callahan here on the call with Dylan Kerfman. And Dylan, let's take a look at some of the team stats here. Looking at uh, S Lady Mustangs only shooting 33% from the field, 22% from three-point range, 91% from free throw range. Absolutely Looking the bright spot there. for sure. Yeah. Bright spot for sure for the Lady Mustangs. 10 turnovers here tonight, 14 bench points, 10 points in the paint. But if you compare both sides, 22 points in the paint for Minnesota State, and bench points is 12 points for Minnesota State. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're shooting 51%, and then shooting 33% from three-point range, 66% from free throw range. And looking at the rebounds as well, 16 to 15, Minnesota State has the edge. So Dylan, let's send it over to you with the key players of the first half. All right, sounds good here, Matt. Taking a look at our key players here the first half. Now, Minnesota State um, had a couple players uh, totaling 12 points, but I have to give the Ashley Olson, number 14, some credit. She had a very solid first half, shooting um, two for three from the three-point land. Got to appreciate that. She's also been very good with the two for three on her field goal percentages, and she's got a, no a nice total of 12 points. Very solid first half. For the Lady Mustangs, I, uh, it's kind of a tough choice here, Matt, but I decided to have to do a bit of a split here. Lauren Hedlund, she does have eight points for the team, and right now that is a precious commodity. She's only two for six, but she is four for four from free throw land, and always have to appreciate uh, players taking advantage of that. But Ellen Degler, though, too, she may only have um, two points, but she had three defensive rebounds, and just as we've seen, she's had a solid first half, great effort, great hustle, really being a, a senior leader for the team, and well with her last game, too, really making it count. Most definitely as we get set here for the second half of this game. Lady Mustangs looking to uh, end the regular season on a good note here. And the Mavericks will come out onto the court. I have the same starters like they had at the beginning of the game. Same with the Lady Mustangs. Sammy Del Zotto. Passing it in to Aubrey Davis. Davis. Dumps it down to Ulfers. Delzato. Davis. Ulfers shot is up and good. She gets the end one. And same thing that happened last night against Concordia St. Paul. Bear, Golden Bears got the advantage by starting out fast, and the Mavericks look like getting an and one, starting off good in the second half. Doug. Absolutely, Matt. Yeah, both uh, both men's and women's teams last night, too, kind of having that fate to Concordia St. Paul, and definitely Lady Mustangs here will want to try to avoid a repeat from last night's uh, disappointing loss. Bombinder over to Degler. Hendrickson down to Headland. Headland. Takes a shot, and that's stuffed away from Ulfers. Degler looking around, and Hendrickson traveled on that one. Ricky, Ricky. 
Looking at Ulfers as well, like we mentioned, Lexi Ulfers is has 45 blocks, and then that is third in the NSIC as Davis shoots a three, no good. Definitely proving her uh, talent in that department, for sure. Dagler on Ulfers. Dagler, shot is up and blocked. Off of Davis right there. Hendrickson. Over to Headland. Headland. Trying to work against Delzato. Can't get that one. Davis. Olsen. Olsen. Davis. Stolen by Headland. Hits it over to Anessa Rush. Quite first half for it again. Only four points. Better than last night. Blinder. Down to Headland. Headland. Her shot is up and good. Looks like it was a little rushed there. Her shot is up and no good, but she'll get foul. Go to the line. And a bright spot, like we said, Dylan, free throws here for the Lady Mustangs. Yeah, 91%. That's uh, even uh, MSU has not been able to maintain that, only 70%. So hopefully they can maintain that here. And Headland's shot is up and good. As Coach Kruger and Paige Hedren Hendrickson have a talk there real quick. Headland's shot is up and no good. Second miss of the night from the charity strike. Over to Davis. Davis. Driving. Comes Delzato. Delzato. Got her foot on the line there, so it'll be Lady Mustang ball. Yeah, you know, it looked close there, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, that just seems like she's going to cut it close, <laughs> and that's why they got a ref on the end line there. And then Nessa Rush brings it up here. Rush gets that stolen away from Olsen. Here comes Ulfers. Jump stops what she get, travels on that one. Kind of upset with herself. Yeah, I realize both teams have had a few travels, but MSU especially, I know we don't have a tally of that, but they've really uh, they've been having some travel fouls, or tra yeah, travel <laughs> fouls that have been... Uh, Traveling really violations. There, there we go, Matt. That's uh, not enough caffeine for me today, but anyway, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that'll usually Headland. shoot you in the foot. Shot is up, no good. Rebound from Bresnahan. All first. For to Davis, Davis for three. And that's no good, rebound. Headland, over to Rush. Headland, back over to Rush, Rush. It's gonna be a foul down low on Bresnahan. Coming into the game, Tiffany Gale, Emily Dusky coming out, Paige Hendrickson, and Ellen Degler. Bonlander gets that stolen away by Olsen. Got to be careful with those passes. Bresnahan, her shot is up, no good. Almost rebounded by Davis. She loses that one. Yeah, Davis made a really nice effort there to just get underneath and, uh, yeah, almost with the rebound. Very impressive. Press coming from the Mavericks. That's a rush, gets it. Dumps it off to Headland. Headland drives. The basket shot up and blocked. She saves it, gives it to Dusky. That's a rush, going to set it up. Drops Bonlander, gives it to Headland. Headland loses the handle on that one. Puts up what? I don't know why you put up that shot, but she gets her own rebound. Can't get it. 
Coming into Amber the game, Sherber. Brittany Sherber in for Ashley Olson. Also coming also into the game, Mackenzie Holman and Anna Lelox. And and Anna Lelox. A lot of changes going on. That's where there's just people moving back and forth <laughs> the whole time here, man. This move from Rush. Rush's shot is up and good. Nessa Rush. Nessa Rush. Six points here tonight. Sherber, lane to the basket, open. And it's called for a charge. And the Minnesota State coaching staff is not very happy about that one. Nope. Dusky going to pass it in. Abby Connell into the game for Hope Bonlander. Looks like we got a little mix-up going. Looks like there's a little bit of confusion here. I don't know. I'm curious uh, what this is all about. Looks like they're going to go to the replay here. Going to see if something's going on there, but. Looks like our crew upstairs has got, uh, gets to do some replay filming, so best of luck helping us out for our KSSU crew. An update on what the Lady Mustangs have done shooting the basketball. Only shooting 27% here tonight, 22% from three-point range. I mean, the ball's just not falling into the basket there, Dylan. It really isn't, Matt, too. We have players like Anessa Rush just haven't been able to uh, get the baskets to fall as much as they've tried. And you're right, until they can get something set up, it's going to be pretty difficult to overcome this uh, deficit. Will be Mavericks ball. 15-57 left. Minnesota State leaves, leads 44-32. Vanessa Rush over to Gale. Lady Mustangs got to get it over the line there. Finally do. A lot of pressure here. Headlin gets fouled on that one. Lauren Headlin. Won't go to the line here. Let me see racking up some fouls here early, man. Already four, 14 fouls uh, here in the well, early 15, well, 15, 40. There we go. Precise, <laughs> precise number. 15, 42. 13 My turnovers bad. for the Lady Mustangs and, four, excuse me, 12 for Minnesota State. Both teams not really taking care of the ball here tonight. I'm going to say, yeah, it's uh, fortunate that at least it's bounced, but yeah. And that's a rush with a nice drive on the basket right there. After a nice fadeaway jumper earlier, too, it's uh, she's coming alive and just what the Lady Mustangs will want. Nice ball movement from the Mavericks. It's taken away by Abby Connell. Here comes Anessa. Over to Connell. Connell. Down to Dusky. Dusky shot is up. No good. Re taken by... Headline, jump ball, jump the ball. they'll go to the Lady Mustangs. You know, it's interesting, Matt. Sometimes these passes floor. really turn into an acrobatic show, you know? Yeah. All right, and man, that is the first media timeout of the, the second half. We're going to take a 60-second break. Sure, You're watching yourself, Lady Mustang Basketball here SMSC on KSSU TV. We all have a vision of that perfect smile. But when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso, so trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. South 
Southwest Minnesota State will get you where you want to go. We're a university of 3,600 students with over 45 majors to choose from. Small student to faculty ratios let your professors get to know you. And with a grad placement rate of 95%, your degree will help you get a job in your chosen field. Becoming involved is easy. And with over $150 million in improvements the last 10 years, our facilities are state of the art. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Lady Mustangs trail 44-34 to Minnesota State. Like we said, Dylan, the Lady Mustangs have out-rebounded Minnesota State, but they just can't hit their shots. No, exactly, Matt. No, we, we keep going back to those percentages, but really two drastic stories, only 28 and 22% for the new field goal and three-pointer. Lauren Headland with a nice... Easy bucket there. Holman, shot is up, no good. Was looking for the and one right there. Mustang follow in number 40, Emily Dusky, her fourth personal foul, second. Now, depending on how these uh, free throws go, Second's we are back down to eight three points, two. which uh, this was an area earlier in the first half where the Lady Mustangs got a momentum run, so. Holman's shot Taking is up and good. Mustangs, number 24, Ellen Degler. Ellen Degler back into the game. Holman, her shot is up and good. Headline over to Gale. Over to Rush. Headland. Gale. Gale drives. Loses the handle on that one. She double dribbled. Another costly turnover there. Two things I've learned, Matt. You don't double dribble, and you don't double dip. <laughs> Two of life's greatest lessons I've learned. For me, those are definitely up there. Absolutely, you know, depending on what kind of chip dip too you got. You know. <laughs> anyway, back to yeah, basketball Expect to basketball here, yeah. <laughs> Claire Jordan misses that one, headling. Drives, puts up her shot. It's called for a foul. She'll go to the line. Maverick foul on number 34. Anna Mustang Rios shooting 85%. They, uh, they got a good stat. See if they can keep that going. That is Anna Lelock's third foul of the game. Shot up and good from Headline. For the Mavericks, number 33, Jamie Bresnahan. And in for the Mustangs, number 30, Hope Bond. Headland at the line. Her shot is up and good. Lady Mustang still fighting here. Gilzado down low. Bresnahan. Jump ball, Professor Jump ball to the Mavericks. And checking in for the Mavericks, number three, Aubrey Davis. Aubrey Davis and into the, the game. Paige, Paige Hendrickson. Hendrickson in as well. Davis driving. Puts up oh. her shot, and that's swatted by Headland, but she gets called for the foul. What otherwise would have been a fantastic block. The Lady Mustangs don't get a lot of blocks here. You know, you know, it's interesting, Matt, you bring that up too. One of the stats I highlighted here early in the game was, uh, I mean, they have team 49 blocks, teams against them, 107. Two to one teams are out blocking the Lady Mustangs. Just a huge difference. So they definitely are hard to, hard to come by in the game. Davis, free throw is up and good. Davis shooting 77% from the line. Her shot's up and good. Mavericks up by 10. That's a rush. Stolen by Davis. Davis has an open lane to the basket. She puts it up and in. Another turnover for the Lady Stangs. 15 turnovers here tonight. Defeat, defeat. 
That's not the way to come back here in this game, Dylan. <laughs> it really isn't. It's a, it's a long road ahead if they're going to try uh, overcoming with that. Comes Rush. Rush. Over to Bonlander. She drives. She had an open lane. Gets her own rebound. Will be out on Hope. 13.02 left Take in the second half. Brittany Sherber into the game. Davis to Olsen, over to Sherber. On to Holman. Olsen down low to Holman. Holman gives it to Davis. Dumps it out to Bresnahan. Lucky break there for the Lady Mustangs. She uh, uncontested with that three-point attempt. Rush to Degler. Bonlander. Moving screen called on Degler. Mustang foul on number 24, Ellen Degler. Coming into the game is Lexi Ulfers. Checking in for the Mavericks, number 32, Lexi Ulfers. And in for the Mustangs, 45, Taylor Haleski. Here comes Aubrey Davis. She's got six points here tonight. Along with seven assists. Offers down low to Bresnahan. Her shot is up and good. Jamie Bresnahan. And that's a rush, bringing it up. Minnesota State shooting 47% from the field. Over to Rush, Rush. Drives, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound, Degler, Degler, no good again. Looks like she rushed that one a little bit. Here comes Davis, dumps it to Sherber, Sherber. Her shot is up and good. Brittany Sherber. Timeout called by Allison Kruger, and we'll take a 30 second break. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU Television. Hey, Barrett! Look, Timmy's in trouble, Ann. I told you to stay out of here! Come on, loser! Someone should do something. If you see abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Lady Mustangs trail 54-38 to Minnesota State. As we look at some of the stats here, Dylan, Minnesota State now shooting 46% from the field. And looking at the Lady Mustangs, I mean, only shooting 31%. But I think the big stat here tonight is points in the paint thud. Mavericks have had 28 points in the paint here tonight, and Dylan, the Lady Mustangs yeah. just haven't had an answer for it. No, exactly. A two to one there, points in the paint, and that's really, that's really where you win these games, points in the paint. Not always, but that's always a safe bet, and uh, clearly MSU holds a very nice lead here because of that hard work. As the Mavericks come back out onto the court, Lady Mustangs are ready as well. Lady Mustangs trying to make something happen here. Degler over to Rush. That's a rush. Drives down. Down low to Bonlander. Back to Holliski. And that's stolen by Davis, and Davis gets another open lane to the basket, up and in. Davis. Lady Mustang, 16 turnovers here tonight. Absolutely, and, and that's the second time, like you say, that Davis had an open lane to the basket, and uh, she's been making good efforts tonight, and it's paying off. Degler 
Gives it to Bonlander. Over to Hendrickson. It's gonna be a foul down. Foul on Davis. And the game is Sammy Delzato in for Aubrey Davis. For the Mustangs, 22, Lauren Hetland, and 25, Tiffany Gale. And Hedlund gets fouled on the way up. She'll go to the line. Maverick Lauren Hedlund, 13 points here tonight. Like we said last night, when I was talking to uh, our other color, color commentator, Paul Vold. I mean, this freshman, Lauren Hedlund, has been making some noise. Absolutely. For first gotta, season. Yeah, first season, Matt, you're right. Really got to be pleased with... Uh, with how she's uh, come along. And like you say, yeah, she was well one of the key players, eight points at the half, and definitely a bright spot, like you say, here going forward in the next season. Makes that one. She's got 11 points on the season, and shooting 62% from the charity strike, 145 rebounds. That leads the team. Shot up and good from Sammy Delzato. Hendrickson, down over to Gale. Dumps it down low to Bonlander. Oh, she gets Bonlander. that one. She's got eight points here tonight. Kind of looking back here at the uh, roster. You know, there's a lot of young players, got some juniors in the starting lineup still, so hopefully get another year out of them. And, and like you say with, uh, well, I'm having a moment here. Oh, Jamie Hedlund Lesnar. with her development as well, too. I think, uh, I think there's some bright spots for sure here for the team that uh, could have themselves a nice season next year. You never know. Bresnahan makes that one. Extends the lead to 18. Hendricks in. Bonlander, pump fakes, drives. Gets that almost stolen away from Olsen. Rush the shot is up and go no good. Brittany Sherber gets the rebound. Over to Olsen, back to Sherber. Gets the pick from Bresnahan. Olfers gets it over to Delzato. Shot up and good from Bresnahan. 20 point lead for the Mavericks. Hedlund. Down low, fouled. Two uh, largest lead actually for, uh, for MSU this game actually, 20 points. Second media timeout of the second half. We're gonna take a 60 second break. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Southwest Minnesota State University where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like culinology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide, where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Americorn Bureau. I want to make a difference. I want to get things done. Could I be a hero? She had to apply. I should give this a try. There she met people who shared her passion. People who wanted to make change. People who joined AmeriCorps. They cleaned beaches. They helped wildlife. Together they served. Together they made a difference. Together they were heroes. In AmeriCorps, you can be a hero too. Join AmeriCorps. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs are trailing the Minnesota State University Mavericks 62-42. And looking at the stats here, Dylan, like we said, you know, the field goal percentage down for the Lady Mustangs, but again, 16 turnovers here tonight. And looking at the Mavericks, they've had 18 points off turnovers. Yeah, they've really been efficient on that too. Um, we've had a few breakaway opportunities too that have uh, hurt them as well. And it's what you got to do. 
Agreed, and Lauren Hedlund makes that one, cuts the lead down to 19. Hedlund, shot up and good. Olsen. Present a hand cross court pass to Delzato, shot up, no good. The Gale, Gale to Hedlund. Hedlund puts up a shot, up and good. Lauren Hedlund, 19 points here tonight. Yeah, that's uh, very impressive, and that's a uh, grand finale, if you will, to her uh, her night's performance. So just a nifty play. Holman down to Bresnahan. Shot is up, no good. But rebound by Delzato, and that hurts him right there. Rush down to Hendrickson. Back over to Rush. Degler. Rush for three, and that's good. Anessa Rush. Anessa Rush. Anessa Rush with 11 points here tonight. Vast improvement from last night's game against Concordia. Yeah, she's really coming to life here too, getting a variety of shots, and gonna have to continue if they're gonna get back in this one. Uh, Sherbert drains that three. Just seems like uh, whenever there's a momentum, MSU comes back and kills it there. Story of the game. Yep, and back-to-back three-pointers too. That's always uh, always interesting. Hedlund drives, pump fakes, puts up a shot, no good. She gets fouled. 6.59 left here in the second half. Yeah, Mavericks now uh, nine fouls already too. They've uh, racked a few once again here, but uh, even so they've been able to maintain a strong lead. Headland. Shot is up and good. Lauren Headland needs one more shot to get, or excuse me, she's got 20 points here tonight, looking to make it 21. And 40, Emily Dusky. Dusky back into the game for the Mustangs. Shot up, shot good from Headland. Olsen, nice pass down to Olfers. She gets fouled and she'll go to the line. Look at that Minnesota State, 11 of 14 from the free throw line. Yeah, I mean, definitely not a, a bad stat for them either too, but uh, Lady Mustangs are really having the dandier of a day, 90%. That shot is up and good. 16 points tonight for Ulfers. Make that 17. And that's a rush, bringing it up. Rush, cross court pass to Connell. Connell, looking. Oh, Can't no. get it over to Rush. Another turnover for the Lady Mustangs. Stolen by Rush. And she'll just go the other way. Zotto on Rush, puts up her shot, wow. and that's good. That was pretty darn cool. That was pretty cool. After she couldn't get, get a pass, she steals it right back and gets the easy basket. And she was facing a, a size disadvantage too, Matt. I, uh, Very nice instant replay right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're putting that on the reel for sure. Sherber's shot is up, no good. Olsen gets the rebound in front of oh. Three Mustangs. Can't be letting that happen. Shot this, up, uh, no good. From Wolfers, it'll be Minnesota State ball. Olsen. Wolfers fouled on that one. She'll go back to the line. Lexi Ulfers, 5 of 5 tonight from the charity strike. Definitely a per percentage right there. You know, interesting uh, side note there too, Matt. Ashley Olsen has not 
scored any points yet, I don't think, since uh, halftime with the head 12. It's really uh, quieted down there, too. Not that it's mattered, because obviously others are stepping up and making the difference. But Agreed with that statement. Is it approved? It's got my stamp of approval. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Shot up and good from Ulfers. And Rush. Rush bringing it up. Down over to Bonlander. Looking to pass it around here, set it up. Connell over to Dusky. Hendrickson dumps it down low to Bolander, Bonlander, and she puts it up in a Hope Bonlander. She's got 10 points here tonight. Davis gonna set it up. Delzato, Delzato drives. And she gets an open lane in the basket. No help defense right there. The Lady Mustangs breaking down on defense still. I know she uh, galloped right up to the uh, right up to the basket there, and, and they're not even the Mustangs, they're the Mavericks. So that's kind of a, a role reversal, I guess, if you will, there, man. <laughs> Rush. Gets it over to Bonlander. 13 left on the shot clock. Rush for three. Drains that one. Vanessa Rush trying to will their team back into this game. Coach Kruger calls a 30-second timeout. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Ladies, are you talking to your partners about HIV? Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed. Get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end Black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University. For the Lady Mustangs Trail, Minnesota State 7258, Matt Callahan here on the call with Dylan Kerfman and Dylan Mainly the start of the game is the Lady Mustangs just can't make baskets here tonight. Uh, no, not at all, Matt. And it's just uh, the numbers aren't pretty 38%, uh, 36%. I guess, I mean, they've made strides. Earlier they were in a 20% range. But, yeah, MSU 50% from the field goal uh, uh, range. And uh, you're just not going to win against that percentage any day of the week. On uh, some broad notes, though, for the Lady Mustangs, Anessa Rush has uh, come back to get 16 points here thus far in the game, coming alive with a couple of three-point attempts, which was uh, or three-point shots made. And uh, Lauren Hedlund, the freshman, 21 points. You got to be excited what next season could bring for the Lady Mustangs. Definitely watch out for these players here. Here, here comes Sherber. Sherber over to Davis. Davis bringing it up. Full court pressure now. Nice pressure from the Lady Mustangs. It'll be a jump ball call. It'll be possession to the Mustangs. Timeout taken by the Mavericks here. So we're going to keep it here. So uh, Dylan, you know, like we said, you know, not very good percentage for the Mustangs here tonight. But um, as well as look as we look at it, 17 turnovers for the Lady Mustangs, and that's what kind of hurt them tonight as well. It is exactly, Matt. Too many turnovers, and then MSU just been able to take advantage of those turnovers as well. I mean, let's see here. They've got uh, oh points off turnovers, 18 points here too. Uh, so that's uh, it's definitely a telling sign of the uh, game there, and yeah, you're, you're not going to win too many basketball games with that. Yeah. Exactly, and also looking at the Lady Mustangs have out-rebounded Minnesota State 28-27, and Minnesota State 15 turnovers, but the Lady Mustangs have 13 points off turnovers, so there's there's obviously some good things to look at, but points in the paint, I mean, Minnesota State has been dominant in that department. Exactly, and that uh, very telling of the scoreboard as of this moment in time. Davis swinging it around here. Shot up, no good from her. She's 
Oh, almost Another rebound away. from Minnesota State. Another offensive rebound. Shot up and good from Wolfers. That's going to hurt the Mustangs. Absolutely. Kind of some size disadvantage there, too. Uh, MSU had uh, tall foot players in there. There's just kind of a little game of catch almost to some extent. Headline makes a move. Tries to put it up. No good. Looks to be a foul down there on Minnesota State. Foul on Mackenzie Holman. Headland tonight. It's been to the free throw line a lot here. Doing a good job missing that one. She's 13 of 15 here tonight. Well, yeah, that uh, that definitely will help a little bit. Four, eight rebounds for her as well. Shot is up and good. It's like a dream scenario. You're like you want your best like free throw shooter like fouled all the time, and it just kind of worked out. You know, you don't. Nessa Rush gets called for the foul. You know, it's just too bad, Matt. Despite the fact that the Lady Mustangs have had some solid free throw shots tonight, good percentage, and just a lot of opportunities with MSU's fouling troubles, but uh, but again, we go back to those points in the paints and turnovers and. You know, you're just not going to overcome that. And Davis makes that free throw. Lady Mustangs will still a little time left for them. But it does not look good here with 3.38 left. No, they may want to consider uh, putting on a three-point clinic here pretty soon, <laughs> you know, to maybe have a chance. And here comes... Hendrickson over to Bolander, Bonlander. Rush tipped away from Delzato. Sometimes I wonder, Matt, with those uh, alley oop, but well, not alley oop, but just those <laughs> tip offs and stuff too. Sometimes you think, did I get like tickets to the circus here just with all the <laughs> juggling and stuff too? It's like we get like a double bonus basketball and the circus at the same time. This is. We got a great show. Shot up and no good. Foul. Bonlander. <laughs> Coming into the game for the Mavericks. Claire Ziegler. Shot up from Bonlander. Up and good. Second in for the Mavericks, number 44, Claire Ziegler. Mackenzie Holman coming out of the game. She's got nine points tonight. Shot up. Shot good from Bonlander. Very aggressive full court uh, pressure here from the Lady Mustangs. Almost taken away by Headland. Here comes Davis. Looks to be in. Eight second violation. Check it in for the Mustangs, number three, Abby. Abby Connell, end of the game. Connell. Gets it over half court. Edlin drives, falls. Hits it out to Dusky. Dusky. Yeah, nice recovery pass there. Three point shot from Nessa Rush. No good. Over the back foul Must called on foul Abby Connell. Three, Abby Connell. Her third personal foul. Eight, team foul. Checking in for the Mustangs. Looks like the Mavericks will take a one and one here. Aubrey Davis at the line shooting. Davis one to one. the line shooting one and one. Davis, four for four tonight from the line. Definitely a stat to be proud of. Shot up and good from her. Minnesota State shooting 81% as a team. Yeah, all in all, they've been pretty consistent uh, keeping around that uh, percentage-wise. They're doing pretty good. 
And Lady Mustangs coming into this game only shooting 67% have just really put on a great, uh, great show in the free throw department and have maintained really high numbers. They've only missed three of their 26 attempts. Rush, her shot is up, no good. It'll be Lady Mustang Ball. And the game will be Abby Connell in for, Mustangs, in for Paige three, Hendrickson. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I Obviously, we don't have a good vantage point from where we are in our broadcast table, but kind of kind of looked like it uh, went out on a Mustang, but uh, clearly we saw something, or we did, or the ref saw something that we didn't see. Dumps it off to Nessa Rush. Rush driving. Dumps it down low to Dusky. Headland, Headland drives. Puts up her shot, no good. Rebound Ulfers. This will be a foul on Headland right there. Mustang foul on number 22, Lauren Headland. It's like her fourth personal Headland may have gotten hit in the eye. Ulfers. Shooting a one and one. Coming into the game for the Mavericks. Be number 21, Tyra Johnson. Checking in for the Mavericks, number and number 24, 24 Madison, Madison Lee. Lee. 210 left here in the second half. Lady Mustangs down 77 61. Ulfers, shot is up and good. You know how, like in those basketball video games, Matt, you could like buy. You know, <laughs> like those, like the coaching thing, you know, to upgrade your stats or two. Oh, yeah. You could just get a 100% three-point. You know, that would yeah. be a good idea. Yeah. You know, and I think any team Set could benefit. You know, you're right. I mean, get any team benefit. Get your best free throw shooters out and do mm -hmm. it. That's a good point. Bonlander drives. No shot. Maverick foul on, on her. Madison Lee, Madison her Lee with the foul. foul. Oh, Paige so Hendrickson too. coming into the game again. Here comes Bonlander. Shot is up, no good. Checking in for the Mavericks, number 21, Tyra Johnson. And in for the Mustangs, number 23, Paige Hendrickson. Paige Hendrickson Hileski, coming back into the game. Haleski in for Dusky. Degler back into the game. Getting one last hurrah here at the RA facility. Absolutely. Brought a, good, brought a good fan section tonight as well. Bonlander shot is up and good. She's got 13 points here tonight. Davis drives, dumps it down to Lee. Lee's shot is up and good. Her first points of the night. Bonlander, can't get that one. Looks like Tyra Johnson was on the line right there. Rush. Trying to dump it down low to Degler on Olsen. Degler drives down. Charge called on Degler. 132 left, and uh, Dylan, it looks like the Lady Mustangs Mustang will finish the season Hamlet with a record of 3 and 23. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, at this point pretty safe to assume, too. You know, as much as this is a, a disappointing loss, Matt, I think compared to a lot of the uh, losses we have experienced here over the course of this uh, basketball season, I'm really um, impressed with the Lady Mustangs. They've really given a good effort, with a lot of good moments, good momentum. And I think the key thing, they haven't given up as a team. Obviously, areas they need to improve on, turnovers weren't good, but just some fantastic effort. And I think, you know what, they go in with the loss, but really, there's some solid things to take away. And, and I'm really excited for next season. I think uh, it's going to be a really bright future for the Very Lady much Mustangs. improved um, team coming up next year. A lot of young, young women that are Checking definitely Mustangs, playing pretty well Abby here for the Lady Arnold. Mustangs. Obviously, the season they... Obviously, you don't want to go with that record of three and 23, but Lady Mustangs have a lot, of, showing a lot of promise here. Absolutely. 
Well, you know, on the nice side, too, you know, when you have a record like that, too, I mean, it's pretty easy to make progress. You're going to get a few more wins, you know, and make some good strides. Here comes Anessa Rush bringing it up. Anessa. Down to Headland. Headland. Down low. Over to Monlander. To Rush. Rush drives. Puts up her shot. That's a little off. Johnson. Looking to pass it. Gives it to Lee. Lee. Going to bring it up. One minute remaining. Timeout called by Minnesota State, and we're going to take a 30 Timeout second break as well. You're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSS TV. Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where Minnesota State leads SMSU 82-62. 56 seconds left in this game. 40, Emily Dusky. Emily Dusky as well. Playing tonight here. Not in her last game, she's a junior. Charge called. Um, Taryn Wicks. Forward six foot junior from Jewel, Iowa. Matt, maybe it's the fact that I just tend to check out of the world sometimes, but <laughs> Degler's the only senior actually on the, the Mustang uh, team here, and that's, uh, that's, I mean, a good sign, like you say, with a lot of the young players. Nolan Degler playing volleyball. Mm -hmm. and basketball, playing two sports here at SMSU. Yep, very impressive, and she's done good in both. And, um, and you know, especially in, in collegiate sports, we get two seasons right after the other two. That's uh, props to her. She's really a solid student athlete. Johnson looking, puts it down, gets her shot almost blocked. She gets hit on the hand there, foul. All right, Matt, eight ball, seconds. Five, you inbounded, and you just... Go three point, three point. I mean, ooh, that's, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. You'd have to be the flash if you were ever <laughs> yeah, no, that. No, that's such a good point. <laughs> you, you really would. Shot up and good. Is the flash coming out of retirement for basketball? Or no? Might be. <laughs> there we go. I'll, uh, I'll call him up. Tyra Johnson makes her first free throw. Second one up. No good. Five seconds left. That's a rush. Driving. Puts up a layup, up and good. .3 seconds left. That will be the end of the game and the end of the regular season for both women's teams for Minnesota State and SMSU. The Minnesota State University wins 83-64 over the SMSU Lady Mustangs. But stay tuned, we'll have our post-game report after the 30-second break, and you're watching Lady Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. There are moments when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. Can you tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I know. That's why thousands across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight that only families can provide. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Lady Mustangs fall to the Minnesota State University Mavericks 83-64. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Callahan alongside my partner Dylan Kerfman here on the call for tonight's game. And uh, looking at some of the stats here, I mean, Lady Mustangs just couldn't shoot the ball tonight, 34%, 30% from three-point range. Free throws were vastly improved from last game, 85% and the Lady Mustangs out-rebounded the Mavericks 34-33. 18 turnovers for the Lady Mustangs, 28 bench points, 24 points in the paint for the Lady Mustangs, but points in the paint for the Minnesota Mavericks, Minnesota State Mavericks, 42-24, bench points, 22 points, 
and 20 points off turnovers, 17 turnovers, and looking at 50% uh, from the field, 26% from three-point range. So Dylan, all in all, the Lady Mustangs had a little bit of a rough season here, but again, showing a lot of promise here coming up. Absolutely, Matt, too. You have some good scores, some good opportunities. I'm not I'm not getting down yet. I think there's a bright <laughs> future ahead for sure. Definitely a bright future ahead for this team, and we'll see where they get placed. And the NSIC tournament and Minnesota State will definitely be up there as well and making some noise in that in the NSIC tournament coming up as well. But stay tuned. We got the men's game coming up here at 7 p.m. Me and Dylan will be on the call for that. And the men will finish up their regular season here at 7 p.m. But we'll be back with three minutes left before tip-off, and we'll give you our pregame analysis. So stay tuned, and you're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV.